Hey, what is going on, guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 or Note 9, and you want to do a factory reset. Take note that in order to do a factory reset, we will have to restart or shut down the phone first. And you may have an issue where it's asking you to input your password that perhaps that you already forgot. And I'm going to show you how to bypass that. Now, the reason why you want to do a factory reset is maybe because the phone's acting laggy or it's experiencing issues and you want to clean slate then you would do a factory reset. Or of course, if you forgot your password to get into the phone, then you must do a factory reset as well. Now there's basically two ways to do this through the hard keys, okay? First thing you gotta do is shut down your phone. Once your phone is shut off, you wanna press and hold three buttons simultaneously. It's gonna be the volume up button, the big speed button, and the power button, okay? Now the other way is to actually restart the phone. So once you restart the phone, as soon as it's about to boot back up, you quickly Go ahead and press and hold those three buttons, okay? Now the thing is, some of you guys are gonna have this issue right here. Let me go ahead and try to shut down this phone here, okay? So if I go ahead and power down, it's gonna ask me for my password that I forgot. However, if that's the case, what you guys can try to do too is try to do the restart. Now it may ask you for the uh, pin code or password to restart the phone as well. However, sometimes it doesn't ask you. Like for instance, let me go ahead and Try to restart, let me see if it asks me my password. Okay, it doesn't, okay? And that way, you're free and clear, okay? However, let's just suppose that you have a password on your phone and whether you try to shut down or reboot, it's asking you for that password, okay? So the first thing again, if you guys can shut your phone off, go ahead and shut it off and then go ahead and press and hold those three buttons here, the volume up, the Bixby button, and the power button, press and hold until you see that Android recovery menu pop up. Then you can let go and then you can go down to factory reset. And I'll show you guys that one second. Now, if you cannot shut down your phone, but you're able to restart it, then what you have to do is go ahead and restart. As soon as it starts booting back up, you need to press and hold those three buttons until you're actually in the Android recovery menu, okay? Now, for those of you that are trying to power off or shut down your phone or even restart your phone and it's not letting you because it keeps constantly asking for a uh, password, I'm going to show you how to bypass this, and this is the same way as if you're restarting the phone, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and start off with this phone first, okay? Now, let's just pretend uh, if I press power off or restart, I keep getting this message here. It's asking me for a PIN or a password or my pattern, and I don't know it. So the first thing is this, okay? Volume down, power button. This is basically going to be a forced restart where it's going to restart your phone automatically. The thing is, we have to catch it before it starts booting up and we have to quickly press on those three buttons, okay? So let me give you a demonstration here and it, and it may take me a couple times to do this, okay? So volume down, power, okay, ready? One, two, three, I'm going to press and hold. I'm going to wait. It took a screenshot, don't worry about it. I'm still holding on to the two buttons. I'm going to wait till I think it's starting to uh, restart, okay? Now I'm going to let go and press those three buttons, volume up, big speed, and the power button. And I'm going to continue to hold it up until I'm in the Android recovery menu. Okay, I think I got it my first time here. I'm still holding on to the three buttons. Just wait. Okay, installing system update. I mean, even if you get right here too, you can go ahead and let go. It may show like a no command, and then we're going to have to wait. Uh, until it actually boots up into the uh, recovery menu. Let's go ahead and give it another try while I'm waiting for this one. Okay, so here's the other phone here. Same thing, let's pretend we have that same issue with the password. So I'm gonna press on volume down and power button. Okay, one, two, three, I'm gonna press and hold. I'm gonna continue to hold. And I'm gonna wait till I think it's about to reboot. Come on. Okay, maybe right now, let me try it. So I'm pressing and holding those three buttons now, volume up, big speed, and power button. Okay, wow, I'm, I'm getting really good at this. I think I, I just got it. I'm still holding on to the three buttons. Wow, okay, yeah, see, now this one went directly into the uh, Android recovery here. And with the uh, no command here, okay, wow, it took a while, it finally went in. Anyways, here's the uh, Android recovery, and we can scroll up or down using the uh, volume rockers or volume keys. If I scroll down, we can go down to where it says wipe data slash factory reset. That's exactly what we want. Remember, when we do this, we're going to erase everything that is on the phone, your photos, videos, your data. Everything is going to be long gone as you, if you bought the phone brand new. Now, the only thing is you have to take a read this down here in the red. It says, if your phone is reset, you may need to enter the Google account information. 
email address and password associated with this phone to be able to use it again. Basically what this means is, you know, on your uh, Note phone, if you use the uh, email app and you had a Gmail address on there, maybe you have one email address, maybe five, the thing is, once we go ahead and factory reset this and we go to, back to the beginning process, there's going to be a verif verification process that's going to ask us our uh, email address and password to one of those email addresses that, that you have linked, one of those Gmail or Google account email addresses. Now, there is a way to bypass that as well. There's tons of other videos on YouTube. The thing is, every time there's a bypass and there's another update in the phone, and basically they fix that issue. Anyways, from here, you go to wipe data slash factory reset. To select it now, you go ahead and press the power button here to select it. And then it's asking you, are you sure you want to do this? This cannot be undone. And it's on no right now. So if I go down one with the volume rocker, go to yes, I can go ahead and click uh, yes. And then I'll press the power button to confirm. And then once I do that, you'll see down here, it says formatting data. Okay, white, da white data complete. So the factory reset is not complete. And now I go up here and it's highlighted at reboot system now. So I'll press the power button to go ahead and reboot it right now. And now I'm gonna to have to wait for it to clear everything up and perform a factory reset. This may take 15 minutes, it may take 30 minutes. Let me wait till it boots back up and I'll show you we're back at the beginning process as if you bought your phone brand new. So give us a while here. Okay, so that took like 10 or 15 minutes. Anyways, this is as if I bought my phone brand new and then I can simply just start going through the uh, setup process here. Wow, and take a look at this. It says, an unauthorized attempt has been made to reset your device to factory default settings. Connect to a Wi-Fi or mobile network to verify your identity. Okay, so let me just go ahead. I can pop my SIM in here, but let me just pop my, uh, my Wi-Fi in here right now. Okay, put my Wi-Fi password. Let me click on continue here. Okay, now I'm gonna go to next. I'll go ahead and agree to all of this. And let me see if it asks me for my uh, my Gmail account. Okay, yeah, see, I did have a Gmail. I said I had like 20 different Gmail addresses on here, but it's asking me to verify an account. So I do have to put in my Gmail address and then the correct password, or I can simply put in a phone number as well. Anyways, there you guys go. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.